Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs B, your Catholic art teacher. Last week, boys and girls, we did this uh, beautiful and quite profound uh, depiction of the Miserere, which is the fourth penitential psalm. And uh, this particular uh, Bible verse that came from the Miserere is, I was born in guilt, in sin my mother conceived me. And so the original guilt of sin comes through our parents, our first parents, Adam and Eve, and boys and girls caused us to be um, born with sin. All right? So, boys and girls, you can check my video out uh, for those of you who missed out because I didn't see... Uh, many of you attempted this so try to do it boys and girls it's a it's a lovely and meaningful way of building your relationship with Jesus Christ during the Lenten season and this is the penultimate week um, in fact this is Holy Week and uh, yes this is our last chance to reconcile and make things right with our Lord Jesus Christ so Boys and girls, I will encourage you to go ahead and um, do what you have to do. Confess and attend all the mass, the ceremonies that you need to do to make things right with you and Jesus Christ. So today, boys and girls, we are continuing with this, the penitential psalm. And we're going to actually be doing the fifth penitential psalm, which is Psalm 101. And for this class, we are going to be doing Psalm 101, verse 7. I am like a lonely bird on a housetop. So boys and girls, there may be times where you may feel alone and uh, let's meditate on this today. So let's get started, boys and girls. Let's get our paper, our drawing books, and let's have it portrait way. Not landscape, portrait. And then we just place that down strategically so that, uh, yeah, we can best depict uh, this image of a lonely bird on a housetop. So what we're going to do, boys and girls, we're going to, to have a silhouette so the first thing we need to do is have a background with all silhouettes we must have a beautiful background so our background today is going to be very red reddish orange so we're gonna begin with um, usually I would start light and then we go dark but we're going to start from light up this way and we're going to be going down and it's going to be variated colors you know from yellow uh, to orange and then to red so let's get started boys and girls so here we have our lovely yellow it's going to be a lovely bright yellow boys and girls yeah and we're going to just paint this up really nice we want it to be very bright we want it to stand out so that our silhouette will come out nice. And then we're going to go to the next. So we're going to go into very gradually. We're going to add a little bit of orange to this yellow to get this beautiful warm uh, yellow. And then we're going to um, add another layer. A yellow, a deeper yellow, right there. So we're just going to add that there, so we can see the gradu gradually it's transitioning to a warmer yellow. And then we're gonna now go into a lovely kind of a orange. So we're gonna get more intense with the orange. So we're going to add the orange next, like this, boys and girls. 
and then after that we're going to make the intensify this orange a little bit by adding a little bit more and we really want it to be graduated we want it gradually to be transitioning so we're going to go into this deeper orange like that boys and girls and hopefully it will blend nicely into each other as we're going down let's get some more of that orange here and then we're going to get another deeper 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 orange hopefully this will be a little deeper than the last add just a little bit of red to it so that it can be just a touch deeper like that and then we're going to add red to this orange so we just um brush my paintbrush and get the red here this red is almost done so i hope it will be enough just to paint that this part of it and then we're just going to transition so there it is so we have transitioned into our red we need to add another layer of this red like that and then we're going to let it dry and then i will see you in a moment so boys and girls this is two three layers that are of the same colors that i showed you and I left it to dry and there it is so remember today what this um, psalm verse is uh, psalm 101 verse 7 I am like a lonely lonely bird on a housetop sometimes boys and girls we feel like that don't we we feel isolated we feel sad and uh, when you feel that way, you turn to God. Uh, that's the only, he is our hope. He's our only hope. And so, boys and girls, that's why we should always pray for hope. And we should always live in hope. So, what I'm going to do now at the bottom of, the, of this lovely array of warm colors for the sky, I'm going to draw the roof of various houses and this is what I'm going to do I'm going to get some black paint boys and girls and I am basically going to um, get some black paint and I'm just going to uh, paint the rooftops of houses so we're just going to have um, house top you know different you know different levels going across our horizon line and uh, yeah we're gonna do that's basically what we're going to do so I'm just gonna add some more black okay let's make this more just gonna have one oops The paper is very unstable, so it looks okay. But these are house top, these are roofs. All of these are the top of the houses, different layers. When you look at them in a silhouette, these are house tops. Okay, and I'm going to just do that. And then I'm just going to paint it up you know dark with the black you know so for some of you all who who was asking me so we're going to use black well today we're using black all right so just to get the idea of a rooftop and on this rooftop we're going to have a little bird boys and girls let's just paint this part these the top of these houses or buildings 
because some it could be a, a, a church as well like that and then we have some houses like that so we're going to just basically paint that all in like that okay make sure that it's really black so we might have to do a couple of layers like that I don't want to get any black paint on this bright color up there. So just hold that there. A minute. More black paint. Hold that down a little bit. So that doesn't lose too much. Okay, boys and girls, just try to have it. And um to not get paint on your fingers too much so that you may contaminate the brightness of this color so always be checking your hands so that you can hold it down like that okay and then we're going to leave it to dry and then we're going to do the the bird which is going to be right here it's going to be a little so we need our small paintbrush just to do that little detail so boys and girls, I have zoomed in so that you can be able to see the details and I've got myself um, this paintbrush, a very thin, fine paintbrush. I'm going to load it with some black paint now and then we're going to paint the bird which is going to be on the housetop. So first of all, the bird's going to be right there on top of the house. And we're going to have a little head because it's going to be very small. We're going to draw a little head like that, boys and girls. And his little body going like this. head that's the wing of the bird like that goes like that and the tail feather goes like that so we have to be very delicate with our marks boys and girls we want it to be as accurate as possible and then the le the, 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 the the legs of the bird is coming at an angle so it's going to be coming down here like that and then we're going to have a line coming here like that and it's right there on top of the rooftop I'm not going to add anything more because I don't want to spoil it so we're just going to fill in that area in black so we can see very clearly that this is a bird. It, in proportion, it's a very big bird, you know, but when we zoom it out, it's going to be a very a reasonable size bird on the rooftop. Okay, so I wanted to zoom it in because I want you all to see the bird. I want you to be able to see the bird clearly. And the little tail like that and the top of the wings like that. All right. So we're going to zoom this back out for you to have a look at the bigger picture. So boys and girls, I am like a lonely bird on a housetop. And what I'm going to do just to add maybe, you know, interest to that because it's just a little lonely bird right there. I'm just going to show little branches coming on one side of our um, painting. So let's see, we'll have it coming down this way. 
we're going to have a branch coming down this way and we're going to have branches coming out like this let's just make this branch a little bit bigger like that okay and then it's just branching out we can maybe maybe give a touch little um, leaf leaves to the end of the branches like that it's just a few here and there and then but we want to double that line so i'm just going to go ahead and double it very carefully we're going to um go over that line that branch we're just adding a little interest to our painting by adding a branch just to show the depth of this painting the branch coming this way oops add some water always load your that's another branch coming up this way mm -mm. it dries very quickly so let's just do this again It, it, it dries very quickly boys and girls so that's why you have to keep loading your brush with water and um, we can just get that going like that <laughs> just want to show that Boys and girls. Okay. We just don't want to uh, add too much branches for it to overtake the picture. Just a few here and there will suffice. Okay. And um, maybe add a little bit, this branch a little bit more bigger like that. I think so. It helps so that you can maybe just carry that branch a little bit. And then I'm going to make this branch a little bit bigger too. That's right. And then you can have a little one coming out like this. Because it just looks like it just... Yeah. Okay, I think this looks nice, um, and uh, yeah, I think I'll just leave it like that, boys and girls. Just add a branch coming down here. Oh, I think I should get the one coming here. Should have one more, I think, just coming this way. Just go and widen this branch a little bit, and as it gets closer, 
the branches get a little thicker like that great hmm I think that looks good. I think this will work very well. Mm -hmm. This one comes a little bit in front of the previous branch, so we have to make it a little bit bigger. And I think that would work better. Like that. That's fine. Hmm. I like that. I think it looks good. All right, boys and girls. That's uh, our painting for today our bible reflection on the fifth penitential psalm i am like a lonely bird on a housetop boys and girls i know there's some times when you really feel alone especially during the covid times when you we had to be following protocols and staying at home and this is where you seek god when you call on his name, he is there. And so that is how we build our faith, boys and girls. I am like a lonely bird on a housetop. Sometimes we may think that we are alone, but no, God is there with us and we must place all our trust and hope in him. So happy Holy Week, boys and girls. I can't wait to see your work. We're going to be back face to face, but I'm going to continue having my sessions online so that um, it may touch the lives of many boys and girls throughout the world. And I hope one day that I may be able to see some of the work of everybody who view my videos so God bless you, boys and girls, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.